I'm now signed in with my Azure Active Directory account. So I can now go and either disable or delete the admin account. So if I go to computer management, this will bring up this. So I can go to local users and group users. And for now, I'm just going to disable this account. Which is properties, account is disabled, apply. Okay, and you'll notice there's a little down arrow now so that if you try to sign in as admin, it won't work. I'm going to re-enable it real quick because I'm going to show you how to do this via PowerShell as well. So account is enabled again, so the little arrow is gone here. So now let me bring up PowerShell as administrator. And it's going to ask me to approve the uh, elevated rights to sign in as admin. All right, PowerShell's open, so I'm gonna paste in my command, which is disable dash local user minus name and admin. So at that point, one quick command, account's been disabled, and we can look again at computer configuration and make sure that, that we see that little down arrow, which we will, right there. So that's two ways to uh, disable the admin account. You could always delete the account just by clicking there and hitting delete, or by running remove dash local user minus name admin. I'm gonna keep mine around because this is a lab, but in production, you may very well want to delete that admin account entirely. Up to you, there's no right or wrong way to handle this. And so that's how you disable or delete the admin account.